Okay, fellas, I said that uh, this weekend I would do a video about the Airsoft Komodo, and this is it. And before we get to the Airsoft, I wanted to show you on the IR Komodo. Um, if you listen to it, the Komodo will talk to you. When I turn on the power, the red light on the Komodo will come on. See, it'll stay on for a second, then it's going to shut off, and then it's going to flash twice. And when it flashes twice, that's telling me that I'm in the short delay mode right now. If it had flashed four times, that would tell me that I was in the long delay mode. Okay, so if you want to change from long delay to short delay, Kevin sent me a picture. He's really great about this kind of stuff. If you have any questions, he, he'll tell you exactly what to do. It was no problem. He told me to get a little jumper just like this. Now, I'm not going to actually do it for you guys because I'm scared of electronics. But I touched it from uh, this 5 volt to there's a little pin and it says signal right next to it. It probably doesn't show up very well on the video. But all you got to do is when you turn the tank on, the red light comes on and it stays on. That's your time period. Right now, you got to just touch those two together with the jumper. As soon as you do, it'll flash twice, and then it'll flash twice again. That means you're in a short delay mode. Now, if I had actually done it, it would have flashed twice when I touched it, and then it would have flashed four times to say that I was in the long delay mode, and then I would have had to go back to short delay. And I'm not even going to try it once, so I really ain't going to try it twice. So anyway, that's the deal with changing the delay on the Komodo. It was really easy. So... The last time I did the video of the P4 with the Airsoft, it was in the long delay mode. And when Kevin told me about that little Easter egg, I changed it over to the short delay mode. So I'm going to give you guys a three round burst. I'm just going to get creeping slow, and then I'm going to give you three rounds, and then uh, I'll kick off the gun, and I'll wait a second, I'll give you one more round, and then that, that'll give you an idea of what the delay of the Komodo is. This is what it's supposed to do, though. It kills the motors and gets rid of the track recoil. And that's exactly what I wanted it to do. I, I love it. I'm going to put them in all my airsoft tanks. Observe. Okay, did you catch all that? Kind of short space, but... Uh, that's how it worked, and the, the Komodo works great. No track recoil. And this is a really great airsoft cannon on this tank. This thing, the first shot that I shot on the three-round shot, hit me right in the knee, and it hurt. <laughs> Pretty good cannon on this thing. So that's it. It does exactly what I want it to do. It's perfect. I'm going to put it in all my airsoft tanks. I'm not trying to sell Komodos, you know, but I'm saying that that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy them for all of them. Pretty soon I'll be getting into hobby grade electronics. I already bought a Turnigy 9X. I got a Smarty board, a backlight kit, and an RC2TG on the way from Kevin. We're going to put that in the S33. Uh, the mod tomorrow is going to be kind of cool. It's going to be about changing the machine gun button on uh, Taijin transmitters. So, see you next time.